let's continue on our path through this section on line integrals. All puns intended there. We are going to calculate the work done by a force or a vector field, um, x comma xy, or xi plus xyj, if you prefer the ij notation. And we're going to look at what this work has done on a particle moved along the path, r of t equals 4t comma t squared from 0 to 1. Now, if we were to sketch this path, at t equals 0, we would be at the origin, or 0, 0. And at t equals 1, we would be at the point 4, comma 1. And if we were to do a little bit more investigation, which the pre-calculus teacher would definitely be doing, you'd see that there's a bit of a curve here. It is indeed a type of parabola. So it's not a direct path, it's a curved path, which is not really relevant at the moment. We're just sort of learning how to plug into these new formulas. So the derivation I gave you all for calculating work is a line integral, the vector field, dot product, the velocity vector. The velocity vector is the first derivative of our function, dt. Now, one reason the textbooks will frequently not leave something like this as a formula is uh, velocity may be in terms of t, but the vector field is not in terms of t. And so it could be considered just notationally not very strong. But what I'm emphasizing here is like, how do you know where to go with this? Uh, what is the most formula looking aspect of this? And so I say this is what looks most like a formula that I can, I can work with. Get it? Work with it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we need velocity vector. We also need the vector field in terms of t, not x and y. Well, the velocity vector is going to be the first derivative. That's right. I can hear you guys thinking it. 4 comma 2t and the vector field um, these x and y values we only care about the x and y values that are on the path we only are looking at the vectors along the path I cannot stress enough along the path or along the curve is what we're looking for so that means x is this x it's simply 4t and x times y is 4t multiplied by t squared because this is the x and y values that determine the path and we only care about the aspects of the vector field where it interacts with the path itself. So let's do some final setup here. t is given to be 0 to 1 the vector field 4t, 4t to the third power, dot product velocity vector 4 comma 2t dt. All right. If I only ask you to set up a type of line integral, I would let you end here. Now this one is so simple, we, we have to evaluate it. But you'll see that there are times where we're interested in, I'm interested in, do you know what actually would go into the computer that you have at work? Being able to integrate something is not necessarily a challenge with technology. Knowing the integral you have to integrate is the challenge. And so that's what I'm emphasizing here, in case you missed all of the last chapter on multiple integration. Okay, dot product, 4t times 4 is 16t, 4t cubed t 
times 2t is 8t to the fourth power. And we evaluate that from 0 to 1. That is 8t squared plus 8t to the fifth divided by 5. And t goes from 0 to 1. That gives us 8 plus 8 fifths minus, well, 0 plus 0. It's not very exciting. Combine these together into a single fraction or perhaps even a nice um, accurate decimal. Um, but it could look like uh, 48 fifths. There you have it. The work done by a force of a par on a particle moving along a path with a given vector valued function. All right, there you have it.